What's going on guys, how are we doing? And welcome to a brand new video tutorial. Now we have, in this particular video tutorial, it's not gonna be a quite a video tutorial, we're just gonna be looking on an awesome tools for web developers. So as clearly see, there's more websites in here. I, I really hope you guys can go ahead and check it out. There's a plenty of tutorials, uh, plenty of video tutorials, alongside a written tutorials to available in this one. So that would be really great if you can just go ahead and check out iPunus.com. Now let's just go back into our topic. As I've said today, we're gonna be looking at six awesome um, tools or pretty much web developers tools that you essentially need to know and I use daily on my life as a web developer I every single day whenever I try to create an application I don't know rest for APIs dealing with web page design you know so on and so forth I deal with one of these uh, awesome tools so the first tool we came across is Figma and probably the most known tool in this list uh, by you guys is actually Figma. Figma is a design tool that allows you to easily create mockups or UI elements for your web pages. So as a web developer and as you are a web designer too, you need Figma. It pretty much being used by a lot of companies or large companies and it gives you a lot of sets, um, awesome you know, functionalities and features to create an awesome design. And here's what I've created from like a couple of video tutorials I've shared in the channel, uh, probably in here like a weather application or something. It was too easy to create that, create the mockups, or even you can create like a smooth UX uh, experience for your mobile applications, web applications, desktop applications, and so on and so forth. So it works on all of those and it gives you this awesome UI elements with the source code, of course, and is actually available. The tool set are pretty great. Uh, you can create with it whatever elements as you want. And the main point about this and what I like personally as a web developer, actually you can hover something uh, when you create a design and it gives you the full CSS code about it. You can also choose iOS or Android and you can easily find whatever you pretty much uh, code you need from this guys. The next tool I love in here, which is just a simple web application, it's called Font Flipper. The Font Flipper actually allows you to easily choose and find the right fonts for your design. So for your website, I know as a web developer, I've worked a lot of designs, I've created a lot of web pages, and I've struggled a lot to find the right fonts for my um, web pages or for the fonts that matches the whole UI elements. And this tool actually it's easily gives you something um, like you know you can choose a fonts between this so you can either you know gives you this the current font if you love it it's gonna add it to the list otherwise it's just like gonna show you the next font and so on and so forth so it just like it gives you a huge list of fonts to go through and whether you like the font or you don't with some filters so you can filter between fonts like you want uh, bold fonts or an old-fashioned fonts or so on and so forth and you can use this without any problems plus it gives you the list of the you know the loved font from you you can delete from the list and you can keep going and searching for other fonts. You can upload your own custom images, which could be your web page design or your UI your elements that you want to find uh, match on. It pretty much gives you a lot of other functionalities to work with. So not only the font flipper or something, so you can upload your own UI design in here. The next tool on the list which is Insomnia. Insomnia is a RESTful API uh, software that allows you to easily mock up APIs and you know test your APIs with an awesome and easy to use UI interface that gives you that a lot. I use it to test my servers, like pretty much whatever server application or web application you create, I use it. It gives you plenty of things, all the HTTP features you might want to deal with, and plus it is very, very lightweight. This it is cross platform, which is built on electrons, so you can easily use it and you can build your APIs in here. Like you can give it the example. Uh, API host name and you can test the API of course it gives you a plethora of functionalities like the authentication you can query the body and so on and so forth the main official website which is insomnia.rest actually allows you to download it either for Linux Windows or even Mac OS X which is cross-platform and that's pretty great as well I use it on my daily career in here as a web developer and as a server architect so I use it to create and test my APIs the next awesome tool or web application that I really really like and I use it almost every single time I try to create a project or download um, like a dependency for my Node.js application is Bundlephobia. Bundlephobia is a web application that allows you to easily search for bundles and pretty much check them 
it gives you like a quick or metadata information about them like how how much is going to cost you from uh, minifying the gzips and uh, the main you know download time for the the actual thing so for 2g 3g and it actually gives you that for multiple versions so like whatever versions are available for this uh, module gives you all of the things and it gives you the composition of the main module and so on and so forth the main point i like about this is actually the bundle size and how much it can take you can also can be using um, the actual results from your json file so from your packet.json file so you can go scan.packet.json and you can you know gives you the whole list of packages or modules available in your application it gives you every single detail about each one of them like the speed you can also go ahead and filter them uh, from high to low depending on the size of the package and it's pretty great actually the awesome animation tool which is animista it actually allows you to animate and it gives you the css code for that animate awesome um, DOM elements or your own elements in a quick and an easy way throughout the uh, intuitive UI platform in this case and you know it gives you a set of like ready-made UI or CSS animations already made for you so you don't really have to care that much about the code you can check out the code that you've created or for the animation particularly either minified or auto prefix and it gives you the whole animation keyframes for your CSS code and the main point about this is actually to create an easy and awesome animations at the same time using throughout this platform. I've created a couple of animations for you know a couple of my projects I've created either using like this awesome platform or pretty much the background uh, transition or zooming in or throughout particular other things. You can manage the options from the other side, which gives you to easily and um, like lightweight to manage the options for any animation. The last awesome tool, which is VizBug, or Visual Bugging or Debugging, it's actually a Chrome extension available also for Firefox. Um, it allows you to easily like you know change the whole DOM elements on however you want. You can change the style, the background color, the font family, the font size, so on and so forth. However you want, like you're designing on Photoshop or any other design tool. It pretty much allows you to turn the web page, any web page you would like to, into a canvas of your own and of your choice. That way you can design your own website with ease, without no problems, and with much much more creative than you know dealing with a uh, blank source code you can like you know resize this you can take them you can even delete this you can resize the whole uh, text from here like take the font size up you can change the background colors in this case and it gives you the most awesome thing on hover some tips on how you can use this specific functionality it pretty much goes in here to change the actual saturation brightness and the contrast of every single image you can move the elements around the web page like you're dealing with uh, absolute images or something and that pretty much pretty great when designing your web pages it also gives you a plenty of things uh, to deal with like css flex boxes and uh, when you drag in here you can you can drag them however you want you can also use the chrome extension in here in any older website as i've said as clearly seen here using it in my own website for you know like development purposes or any other purposes just for having fun with your friends you can do that too uh, without any issues so that was actually guys for the six awesome or the awesome tools that I really love and I really use as a web developer. Hopefully if you have other tools that you use on your daily life as a web developer or as a web designer, you can put them in the comments below. I would be very happy to check them out. Why not make a new video tutorial about them? So that was actually guys. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. I will catch you all in the next video tutorial.